a married woman of three kids, as you can see her here. And she's the one who uh, does most of the dancing and the drumming. I remember last time when you were here with your team, you had one of your clients who was uh, a, a musician, I think. Right. He, wa he was doing drumming, huh? and yeah. he enjoyed like really uh, having some drumming with her, which was really good. And now, tonight, she's going to take you to different bits of her drumming. So there are different types of drums. Uh, we couldn't have ever all the drums here. You might see them here. We, have, we normally have like 12 drums, which has got different beats. But these are the main ones. The three that she's going to be uh, drumming tonight with you. And then you can also grab your own drumming and join her. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, guys, since we have delayed, we apologize for that. But uh, this was the first time, and uh, I'm sure with the whole team that we have here, uh, once we start uh, the program in September, so we will be all right. So that's why we wanted to start very quickly with the drumming so that everyone can be can warm up as we take you to uh, through art and the, the kitchen garden. Thank okay. you. But, so let's see, give the floor to Marie Louise so that she can go through the drumming. But thank you for What was your impression about to have music? I want to know what she was singing. What were the words mean? Yeah, uh, the the song uh, she was singing. It was like encouraging everybody, everyone, and to like his own country or her, uh, her own country, and said that this country is really beautiful. It brings the people in to visit. It. So that was the song. The song was like Rwanda is very beautiful and it attracts more people to come and visit the country. That was the song that she was singing about. That's a, that's a great start song. Can, yes, perfect. Uh, yeah, can she teach us the words? That's right, why not? <laughs> <laughs> so you need to follow her and then you see how she gonna start to like okay, so, maybe, so maybe maybe teach us a few of the words and then we'll and then the drumming, or is it, or I don't know, what do you think? Should we? Uh, maybe we should just try to see a song that okay. we want. Yeah, maybe we should try to see a song that is not that um, hard to explain. Then you can maybe come up with that, yeah? Okay, so Join us for that. maybe what we'll do when we do this, because that is a beautiful song to start with, Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember when I was there, you had, you know, there were people who were dancers and other, you know, as well. And maybe, maybe that's how we start 
is having this song with some of the dancers and yeah. it'll welcome in and then we can go into an easier song drumming or something like that. That's right, that's right. Yeah, we could do that. We could get like say around 10 to, uh, to 12 people who are going to be there uh, to be with us on that day so that they can quickly join us. Yeah, and that'll be, and that'll be fun. that will be a nice like welcome and then you could maybe explain what you know the the words of the song because that's a perfect opening so i don't mind i don't mind teaching you a song right now if you are ready for that and then she can do the drumming <laughs> <laughs> okay well, let's either, do it. Let's, which one should we do first anthony what do you think song or drum it's up to you guys you can just select and see which one you want to do i i i i, I think that there's a song all right, the song. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah, we are going to say the song we are going to sing, it's a, it's a song that is in Swahili. And uh, we're going to be like drumming. She is going to be drumming. And while we are also, I'm going to call like two of my colleagues so they can come and we, we sing about that song. Okay. Rosalie <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just calling the room so they can come and we just come. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'm just calling the So the song we are going to sing, it's like, who are go the song that we are going to sing, it's in Swahili, which says, that who is going to be the Rwanda? You know, who are going to be the, this country? It's us, it's us who are going to be building it. So that's how the song says. So the song, it's an encouraging song. It's a song that was uh, sung during the, the liberation. And this song encourages everyone to get together and then they build this country. So it's in Swahili, which says, who is going to build Rwanda? And then it turns up, it says, it's us. So the song says, <laughs> so, are you Fantastic. ready to join us? <laughs> yeah. so, can you tell us slowly what the, the words we can try and join you? Yes, that's what we, that's, uh, yeah, we just wanted to just yeah. give you like the chorus so right. that you can join us. So, it says, Rwanda. Rwanda is <laughs> Can you repeat that? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so I'm going to come up, never mind. I'm going to try to come up with something very well, simple. If you say it very slow, say the words very slowly. Say one word per word. Yeah. Rwanda itajengwa na nani? Rwanda itenenya na nani? Na nani. Yeah. So it's yep. like who, who will be the Rwanda? Who is going to be the Rwanda? So sisi wenyewe. Sisi wenyewe. Sisi wenyewe. Yes, I know that it's going to be really very hard, but I'm going to come up with my own song, which is, has got like three letters. So you're going to start clapping. You start clapping your hands. Then you say, Leo, Leo, ni Leo, kuna mambo. Leo, Leo, ni Leo, kuna mambo. Can you do that? Okay, so yeah. it's me or just clap? I can clap. Just <laughs> <laughs> say Leo. Okay, say the word. Leo, 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 ni Leo, kuna mambo. Leo, Leo, ni Leo, kuna mambo. 
it's like today is today there is something that is going to happen that's what the song says so this is what i think we're going to do i think mm -hmm. that maybe i mean this is good but maybe beforehand is is there a way to write out the words that i can yeah. offer them to people beforehand that's I was, right i was just going to say that yeah we could deliver the words to people and they could say, oh, this is what we're going to sing now. Right. All right. All right. Yeah, we're going to do that. I think we are going to write it down and then we can send you the, uh, the first column and then you can practice it. Right. Maybe and with then, a smaller uh, video. We, I can also record a smaller video and send it to you. Okay, we can do that too. But I think if we're listening to you and we have the words in front of us, it would be easier to follow. Oh, good, 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 good. So we're going to put that down, then I will, I will be sending it. Yeah. So, and so this is a song of encouragement, you're saying, right? And is there a certain drum beats that kind of recognize, like, happy encouragement or whatever? Like, drumming what? songs? Is that what? Yeah, 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 that's the song. Okay. It's like a happiness song encouraging a song and you know motivating song it's like when you are sitting down and you can't find like you are way of where to go then you just sing that song then it keeps you like you know you keep moving it right. motivates you I to like do that. a bunch of stuff that's what yeah. i need right now yeah yeah oh. <laughs> 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 oh, you need... just put that in chat who just wrote that Sorry? Um, someone on your team wrote this in, in the chat. Leo, Leo, ni Leo, kuno, mambo. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Leo, ni Leo. Yeah. Yeah. Leo, Leo. Leo, 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 I can Leo, just, Leo kuno. Yeah. I, can, I will send you all those words and then it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. It's Leo, ni Leo. It's a quick song. If you, Leo, you Leo. Wanna... Okay. Now that you have the, the words in front of me, now sing it. Okay, there you go then. Let's just start. Leo, Leo, ni Leo, la mama Leo, Leo, ni Leo, la mama Leo, Leo, ni Leo, tu na mama Leo, Leo, ni Leo, tu na mama. Yeah, yeah. Uh, much better. Much better, yes. <laughs> All right, there you much go. <laughs> easier for us now. Yes, much yeah, easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so. <laughs> now, I have a question. If yeah? he's using three drums and I only have one, can I still do, how do I do the beat with one? Uh, let me ask you how very quick so she can tell us. That I was at Nigute. Yeah, Kuririmbo. So we are going to sing and she is going to show you how you can use one drum. Okay. Leo, 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 Kuna Mambo, 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 Leo, 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 Kuna Mambo. Completely off. Okay, so now let's ask her if, mm -hmm. she, if she was teaching like her three-year-old son, say she has a three-year-old son, how would she teach him? Ngombesi wiyo wigisha ngawa na wawe batu. Bafitengi miyaki tatu wigishu ti. Kujirango wafuzi ngomu. They start with one stick instead of two. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So... <laughs> <laughs> and then you and then you can start you know getting the second one get better. Hitting with two sticks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So that, I mean, I think that that's how we have to think about learning is, is if we were like, you know. Three years oh, old. Yeah. Three years old. <laughs> <laughs> But that was much better. I'm like a three-year-old, so that was good. I can do that. Although I think I don't think I was on beat, but yeah. we, we could talk about beat and things like that. Um, and then, you know, one of the other things that we were talking about is kind of like the different types of songs for different types of things. Like, um, you know, if there's you know a song of you know like. A funeral or a song. Uh, I don't really know if I want to do a funeral. That's a little sad. But um, uh, you know, maybe uh, a yeah, danger wife. or something like marriage that. Songs. <laughs> we have marriage songs, church music, so you can mix them up. Uh, yeah, because I think like hearing a few different beats and different songs, and then being able to um learn learn a few of them you know first starting like we were three years old with the one then adding yep. i think that would be good any oh. thoughts anthony what would what would be no, i think that's i think that's that would be nice to to see what beats go with different kinds of uh uh occasions oh good mm -hmm. yeah. uh, no way. So do you want us to try a few of them or what? Sure. All right. Let's try <laughs> to get the let's try to try get the two, the marriage one and the church one. And then you can just hear it. Okay. Wait, what's the last one? Church. Church, okay. Church. Yeah. Even though today is a Friday, but let's just call it a church. <laughs> 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 we go back to Jerusalem and call it a Sabbath. So let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I can do it in my <laughs> I, want to go, I want to be there and dance with you guys. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> um, yeah, so the song we are singing, it says that the God, the God we pray, it's, uh, it has powerful, it has power. So that's why we are here and we are celebrating, we are standing here singing, celebrating. So that was the song all about. It was like the God that we pray, the God that we praise is very strong and he's always with us. So that's why the song... Too. Okay. And maybe uh, you can send us the words for that one too. All right. So we're going to write that down and then send it as well. So we're okay. going to try to, yeah. So we're going to go back to the wedding. Even though the wedding is there on tomorrow, which is Saturday. But we're going to try. Who's wedding? Tonight. Who's wedding? <laughs> we're we're wedding. Get married. We always get married when we are in a good mood. So it doesn't. <laughs> 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 oh, and then you go in, then you go into a bad mood. <laughs> and then you need the motivation. Then you the motivation. need the celebration again. Then you need to go leo ni leo. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> That's how it is. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that is the name, but he knows you will get, you get strong, or I will boost. You can see him. I'm losing them. Do you hear? Yeah, I'm losing them too. 
So um, the song she was doing, uh, she was singing, it's a, it's a marriage song. It says, you are getting married, you are getting into a new home, so get in, build that home, let people come and visit you, let everyone, you know, welcome people to your new home. So that was the song. It's like the couples are getting married, and we uh, accompany them to their new home. Community. And we carry them. Uh, yeah, and we tell them that you go and build that home. You let even visitors, guests come and stay with you, eat with you, share whatever you have. That was the song all about. Very nice. So nice. Is there, I liked how she did that drumming at the end, but I guess we should start with the beginning of that song. How do you do the drumming with that? So you want to start with one drum or three? Uh, start with, well, as if she was teaching, you know, her three-year-old son. I guess start with oh. and get... Ngotangira huo humunga no imi yaki tatu oku vuzi ngo mayambe. Oku vuzi ngo mayambe. Ne no ho tujio kuri yondiri mu. Oku vuzi ngo mimi. Iyo tutuvuye huo. Connection. Maybe it was through the connection. But we could see you. Yeah, we okay. saw you. I'm trying to contact the technicians here and find out what's going on. Okay. So yeah. I I have to tell you, I I am Ah. Is she on? You fixed it? I just yeah. wanted to, in terms of the drumming, is there a way that she can just go a little slower so we can follow? Like do like a beat and then people, and then add on so people could follow it? Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. Do you want to do that right now? Well, we can try it. I mean, I, okay. I'm really bad about that, but hopefully the other people who will be on will be able to follow better than me. But Never I, mind. I have, no, I have no musical talent. <laughs> let, let, let's go for it. Let's go, let's go for it. Let's, let's try it. All right. I'm not so, so good in drumming, but I can still try it. Anyway, so. All right. <laughs> So yeah, so let her teach you, or maybe even when you're, when we do it live, she can even have like a kid that, she, you know, who doesn't know how to do it because it may be easier for her to understand, you know, to slow down a little bit. That's right. Yeah, we could get a kid. One of her kids is really good for uh, in drumming. So we will see how we can get him here. I don't want him to be too good. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get embarrassed. <laughs> you want to... <laughs> exactly. Um... <Come> on. <laughs> we, are, we are all runners. Let's go for it. Yeah. Let's. Okay. 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 Are gone. 
It almost adds to it. <laughs> I mean, it makes it authentic. Yeah. <laughs> trying you know we have to kind of talk about a few other you know things of how the flow is going to work and what to put in it but this definitely gave me a, a better idea of what of how to focus it so okay um, you have any, any thoughts of what you think would be interesting to show people or, i mean personally i like just the the to i mean there will be about you know ten other people or twelve other people on the call, but I like the interaction and the personal conversation and just sharing you know kind of life stuff. And I think that to me is you know probably the most important piece is that people feel like you know they're getting to know people in Rwanda and making friends and that type of thing. So. Okay. And they also understand that everybody knows these songs there so right. it's everybody in the community these songs are important to the culture so that's really a beautiful thing to watch yeah i loved how they just came in and started singing singing yeah that's great everybody yeah, knows man. the songs it's, it's fantastic yeah good yeah we really appreciate that and um, yeah we are going also to make sure that in uh in September, we are all set and uh, ready, ready to come up with a very good band. And I'm sure our technicians will be ready to set up their machines early. Because uh, we realized today there were some few mistakes, but uh, now we have learned and we have discovered where the issues of the, the, uh, our machines are. And we are going to make sure that we sort that out before the event, the real event starts. Right. Yeah, I will do another practice be right before, too. But um, I had a question when you were just saying something and I forgot it already. Oh, I'm getting old too fast. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember what my question was. Uh, um, when I was with yeah. you, do you want me to tell her or, or tell you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah one quick, one quick single, uh, Robin. Yes. Hello? Yeah, we, yeah, we have been having a volunteer here who have also been volunteering to help us. And she kind of has uh, an idea about this and she wants just to say something. Oh, about. Uh, okay, she can come in and say something. Hi guys, how are you? Hi. 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 So <laughs> I did drumming the other day with this, these guys that were amazing, she's better, but they were pretty decent. And what they did is that they had a simple drumming beat for all of those of us who don't know drumming, and right. then a main person who had the rhythm. So basically all of us just did like this, and it felt amazing because it felt like you were part of it. Part of it. And then one single person was the one who was carrying it on. So that might be a good idea. Right. I, uh, that, I, I, yes, thank you. And actually, Greg, in the, in the piece that I sent you, I actually included a clip of someone learning drumming that way, where everyone did like a one beat and then, you know, and she did the main thing. And that, that's exactly, I think that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. and I will keep it through. So we can learn, um, you know, like, a, you know, she can teach us a single beat. She can kind of go and make in, you know, on the three drums, and we can learn. And with the words of the song, we can kind of all be like playing the song. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds that good. Me? Yeah, everyone can participate then, yeah. right from the start. It'd be great. Yeah, yeah. And Maria, and Maria also, she's here until uh, Tuesday, and uh, yeah, we are just going there to see how we can work with that, can work with Maria Louise how to write. Uh, a few of those songs, and then we can send them to you in a in the way that uh, she understands it. Yeah, we can uh, you guys need anything, feel free to you know yeah. send it our way. Wait, what, what's your name, Maria? Anna Maria. 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 Hi. Wait, wait. Come back. Come back. No, come here. I want to ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Where are you from? Um, I'm from I'm from Spain, but I've been in LA for 12 years. Okay, so uh, what are you doing as a? Uh, I'm in Chicago right now. Uh, me, me too, Chicago. Yeah, we're both in Chicago. What are you doing? Uh, helping there. I mean, what are you doing there? Um, well, I'm doing videos and um, and photos of, to get them on the map, basically, to so that people can see what they're doing and what they have around here. So you guys, if you want to share that video too before the thing, I'll be done before mid, mid September, and then I'm teaching the kids and helping in the kitchen and anything that I can get my hands on. Um, I would love. Yeah, I mean, that would be great. I mean. Get, um, I, I think, Greg, if you wanted to give her my email, because I have a few other thoughts, you know, like, and then you can send me the words and we can kind of work that idea out, but that would be awesome if you could help with that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. Yeah, I'm going to pass you an email to her, and then, yeah, if you have any question, and then we will we see. Can, maybe we can do one with the three of us, you know? Yeah. Like a group email. Yeah. And that right. way um, yeah. you're in it the whole time and you can direct whatever. You That's know. right. But yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a young group of people in your in the art center. Yeah. And those are the ones who taught me the simple things. So okay, it's good. very easy, you know. And then you have the master. Yeah, definitely. And... <laughs> right. So we could, uh, yeah, we could do that, you know, learning the simple and then, you know, doing it together. I think that would be really fun. And, you know, again, like the, you know, the cultural piece of, you know, people being, you know, feeling like they're involved with your community would be, you know, even though it's virtual, we'll see how close we can get. <laughs> Even the dance they do, it's like to symbolize the horns of the cow. So, it's, you know, all of it is very interesting to me. Yeah, no, it is. So that's, um, I think that that's what we need to, you know, I have to write, you know, kind of more of a script out of what, you know, what's going to take place and having those pieces of information um, is really good. I mean, like, for you, like you and me, you know, they're like fascinating pieces to know, and then it's kind of natural, and they don't think about it all, you know. So that's uh, it'll be good to um, to talk and see what you've kind of found fascinating too. Pretty much everything, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. 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 Also, they have just so you know, guys. Also, they have a great setup here. Like they have lights they have a nice camera they have a whole setup going on so it looks pretty great awesome so nice. greg is this yeah, beautiful is this the internet your regular internet or did you already upgrade it's a kind of a regular internet and we had to move it from the hostel to a place uh, to where we have it uh, next to the uh, kitchen garden so it's like a mobile internet, so we can move it. Yeah, so, but we haven't upgraded it. So we are going to upgrade it once we go into the real action. Okay, so I just wanted to know, because this was pretty good. We lost sound a little bit. Um, and again, I don't know if that was the connection. I mean, it was the internet or something else, but um, you know, just knowing that th what this is without the upgrade is good to know because that's, that's pretty good. It was pretty good, I thought. Okay, so. good, thanks. All right, awesome. So this, so this is not without the, by, <laughs> this is without the, the router and stuff, right? Yeah, no, so, no, 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 we have, have it. We have the router here. Okay, it's you have just, the router. Yeah. All right, awesome. Yeah. Good. So we're going to go to the uh, second part of the kitchen garden. So where, okay. uh, where Kamana is going to tell you more about, about, the, about the garden and uh, as we enter into the banana beer uh, production. Oh, banana nice. production. <laughs> yeah. There you go, Anthony. Yeah, add that to your well, let's, let's drink that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna send you a sip so you can try it. I love it. Yes, please, please. <laughs> and since today is a Friday, so you don't have to worry about anything. That's right. And the weekend, the weekend is coming up. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, look at what we use. <clears throat> These are what we use to drink the banana beer. You know, you can ah, see it. Perfect. Wait, what is that? Do you have it's, any it's bigger? 
Yeah, it's a calabash. Calabash. It's a gourd. Yeah. And with a big straw here, so you just put it. <laughs> yes. So I should let him explain to you a little bit. Yes. From pumpkin? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Plastic is Yes. This straw from biomass. From France. Yes. This is just the straw. It's from the tree that we plant here. It's because they don't want to use like plastic straws. So they are being prohibited. Anything that is plastic more in Rwanda, they don't allow the means. So we are trying to come up with these That's local smart. straws which are made from the stick and they have a hole inside here. So no, put no, it in here. What tree is that? What tree is that from? Uh, it's from here. We planted it here. Oh, it doesn't have a name? It has. Uh, I just know it in uh, Kenya. Pa Anthony will tell you what it is. <laughs> he, knows more, yeah. he knows more about plants and everything. So he knows it is called Palenia. I'll have to go there. Yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'll have to go there to identify that tree. You need to get here. I'm a botanist. <laughs> that's right. So, uh, yeah. so I'm going to pass you to Kamana so he can explain to you about the, the kitchen. Um, I do have a question, though. Yeah. Okay. okay. Go yes. ahead. Now I wanted no, yes. to. Well, we'll see how we're gonna. Okay. Can't really see it yet, but you guys will figure it out. So, are you seeing it? We're seeing. No, we're seeing you. Okay. Okay. We have a bad angle for that. Okay. There you go. Ah, now we lost you. Lost video. Yeah. <laughs> You put, I think you uh, unvideoed yourself. Unvideoed yourself? <laughs> muted? <laughs> no, not muted. Uh, yeah, muted. Video mute. Yeah. Oh, video mute. Yes. Yeah. So we don't see your picture anymore. Oh, you don't see us? No. Oh. Uh, no, we're going to move to the I line. think you probably hit. I think you probably hit the the video camera sign or whatever. Yeah, the video camera. I've done that before. Yeah, we're just trying to see because yeah, yeah. we just moved it a little bit. You yeah, can see? Yeah, yeah now we can see. Yeah. Okay, all right. Sorted, sorted guys. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so, uh, so so let me pass very quickly to Kamala so that he can explain to you more about you know the kitchen garden and what we have here. Okay. Yeah. That's right. Thank you very much. Hi. My name is Kamala. I'm Kava. I used to hold. You see. Okay. The sound isn't very good right now. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. Is he have a? Okay. Can you? Do you have a microphone, Greg? Yeah, I do. I do have a microphone. Is there a way that you can share it with him? Yeah, I can share it with him very quickly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm getting the technician to, be, from, 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 to, to pass <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never knew I was going to be in production. <laughs> it's good. It suits you. Hi, <laughs> come on. Can you hear us? Uh, okay. My name is Kamana. 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 Okay. Kamana. Yes. Fama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so he's going to tell you very quickly about um, the, the kitchen, kitchen garden. garden, about our fertilizer, ash. Can only use the fertilizer like any uh, pig, uh, nitrogen, phosphorus, 
and the potassium, no, but we use uh, natural, this one, ash. So our garden is made like uh, uh, needs of our body. Our body needs body, uh, no, food for energy, football, bodybuilding food, and uh, football protector or vitamins here. Uh, so uh, here, we can grow here, uh, here, uh, Irish potato, uh, like food for energy. We can also put cassava or uh, sweet potatoes. Uh, here, in uh, the second stage, we can grow also bodybuilding food, uh, like soya beans. Hmm? <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very, very, very good. Yeah. 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 Okay, this, we can use also yeah, food, uh, food, bodybuilding food, can get also uh, cooking oil. And the oil is very good. Now, you, uh, get, after getting cooking oil, you can use also making uh, soap for hand for hygiene. <laughs> from this one hmm. mm -hmm. so uh, here for the last one we can grow so all vegetables uh, or <laughs> oh, sorry <laughs> this like carrot, it's carrot. Uh, mm -hmm. got an attitude right now then the can pro vitamin a is very good so, so why is it called a kitchen garden? Tomato, this one. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a kitchen garden because you can, uh, is near of the garden. Now, in the coronavirus, we can go there and you pick and you cook immediately. I think we have to say this might be a, a part of the food security, especially when you have like a kitchen next to you. So you don't need to walk far away to go and get some food. So you can just grab it very quickly next to, to your kitchen. So, so that's is, so is when, it when, a lot of people when, do in Rwanda? Yes, most of the people are, are doing this in Rwanda where they can just lash very quickly, grab like all these vegetables, they you know, they crush them. They can they make, for yes, you soup. Yes, they make a soup from it. They make salad from that. So if you want, to make a tea, these are lemon grass. Uh, lemon grass. So you just get them. There's the mint, mint. You have the tea. Or repair. And they, they are all planted next to your kitchen. So this helps very quickly. So I have to say, in terms of the food production, it's like a food security uh, for the family. Oh, yeah. Once they need something very quickly and they don't need to go to the store. So this is, you can just grab it around your, your kitchen. Mm -hmm. So pretty, so pretty much everything. You can get also this one. You may there. Yeah. About the vitamin. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> nice. Mm. What, so, what is that fruit? What is that? Fruit, very good. <laughs> very good fruit? Oh, no. tomato. Mm. Yeah. Oh, tomato. Okay. Onion here. Yes. Onion. Yeah. yeah. So we have mm. all these red. Red onion, onion. Yeah. because there is a red onion. They're weak. Yes. Uh, there is a. Uh, white onion or yellow onion, onion. And one very, thing, very good for salad like yeah. that. Yeah, for cooking for so. the salad. And then one thing, as you might have seen, all this food is organic. So we don't need any fertilizer to put it in. Because uh, all these volcanic rocks, they have enough fertilizer for it. So Kamana can explain more about uh, our volcanic rocks Look, grow some stuff on it. With this okay. is low materials you can get easily here around. So we teach the people surrounding also here the drugs to get this one. Also, in a dry season like this, uh, you see uh, here, what we mm -hmm. wedding here is easy because it's made a cycle made. So, but here is too far. But here, uh, it is easy to harvesting or they are to wedding or watering also it is easy yeah. uh, here is the cycle is easy but there is too far we can go here and we go here yeah. so you see it is easy <laughs> so 
So one mm. of the other thing of the kitchen garden, mm. it's good. It's very easy for irrigation. So you don't need too much water. You can just fetch in a... Wait, wait, why in don't you need too much water? I mean, it's like a smaller garden. So it's not a, like a big garden. But the containing element, food for energy, immediately, food for bodybuilding, and for protect our vitamins here. We can get the uh, Israel uh, uh, behind the, the kitchen, behind their house here. So interesting. And that's what I didn't realize that most people in Rwanda have that. They do. They are very and, so, and the circle part of it, like if you, if you water the top level, it, kind of, it drips down into the lower level, right? So that's how you're saving water? Yeah, you save, uh, yeah, you save water because underneath we put the soil. And with that uh, soil that is underneath, all around the, volcan uh, the volcanic rocks, they still uh, keep the water inside them. There is water also conservation because the, uh, the, the carbon, uh, organic carbon uh, under. And the <laughs> organic carbon is, is like uh, cotton uh, and uh, water filtration. We stop water uh, infiltration in the soil easily. I see. Yeah. Very so cool. He, yeah, he's uh -huh. going to take you uh, more with the eco friendly uh, banana or eco friendly bags. Something that we are just doing in, uh, when Rwanda uh, eradicated plastic bags. Mm. So we came up with an idea of making eco friendly bags. And he is going to show you some of them and how they are made. Them. Not only mm. that we make the banana beer from this, but we still make a bunch of stuff from all these uh, bunch of ba banana fibers. We make like uh, banana papers. We make eco-friendly bags. We make the beer from it. So there are a lot of things that come from it. So Kaman is going to explain that. In our country, Rwanda is prohibited to use plastic, you know. So we prefer to use banana fibers bag. So to get banana fibers, because we have vest banana. Mm -hmm. And this biomass is good because it's like a composted fertilizer. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> we have three kind of banana here in Rwanda, banana plantation. We have a sweet banana eating in a dining room. We have another one for uh, banana production, banana beer, or another one for banana plantain for cooking. So after the ending, a very big. So after we get banana leaves, banana fibers bag here. So to make a bag, we take the leaves like this. What is that that you're putting it on? It's another mm -hmm. banana tree which is in the uh, standing. And he's trying to make a banana um, yeah, the banana bag. Uh, banana bag bags. That we use to plant some trees and everything. So he's just demonstrating that. Oh, I see. Oh, cool. Thank you very much. Something they came up with so that uh, people can use it instead of using plastic bags to plant some trees in. When you are making like a seed bed, you don't need these plastic bags we are getting to uh, prohibited to, get, uh, to bring them in the country. So the idea came up that they can make this kind of bags and uh, once they are eco-friendly and uh, easy to make and if we can do more of this then we could really the community it could be like a community conservation project that will still benefits 
people who are making it instead of throwing all these um, uh, banana packs away, but at least they have something that can be made from it. Okay, this is good because this is made in a banana fibers and is a biomass. When you plant, you plant the plant uh, like this. You see, you cannot uh, till that one. You put immediately because it is and biomass. And you put it right in the ground. And, uh, yes, and you plant in in it is because our country uh, is a t one thousand hills in Rwanda. So after raining, there is erosion. To stop, this is agroforestry here, agroforestry. And we plant here. So now you can get the tree here and then you plant it with everything inside the soil. And this is going to be the, uh, the fertilizer. Wait, why did you put two? Why did you put one inside the other? So that was just a demonstration because this was the, the soil, there's the sand here yeah, inside. to show you the new one, how it carries the tree, how once we want to plant a tree. I see. Yeah. 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 Chino. And this one uh, is agroforestry here. Uh, you see this one having important having, having uh, for, to stop erosion here. And so, so feeding animals, the leaves, or getting a compost like a fertilizer and you can get also easily trees or uh, firewood yeah easy very good wow yeah. do a lot with those plants and we have a, a in the chef also one a plant, tree planting program yeah all right do you have any question for him um no, I, I would think, uh, I mean, it's a great, I, it was a great idea and you did that. So it didn't take a whole lot of effort to do, which is a great Thank thing. You. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I, go ahead, Anthony. You have to no, look. I was just going to say, you should talk more about how you're trying to reduce the use of plastic. That's right. That's, that's something we should all do and learn. And our country is very bad at it yeah, so uh, I, I, I think i think that's a very important lesson i know i'm thinking that maybe there's a t uh, a period like a kind of an exchange between people because you were do doing something very resourceful i mean you just yes. that was in your backyard and you did that and not everyone has banana trees but maybe people can think of other things you know, t together, maybe there's kind of like a brainstorming session of using your own resources. Yes. Of what, you know, your natural resources instead, you know, instead of and, and getting everyone to reduce plastic. Yep. Yes, that was very creative, very impressive. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're just trying to see if we can keep on demonstrating this, also promoting it within some uh, um, conservation organizations that are supporting uh, like tree planting and uh, other plants that they want to plant. Instead the of the they could mm -hmm. just really be using this because they are very cheap and they are easy to make. And instead of going to buy the plastic bag from the factory, we can encourage our community to do that and they could be getting income from that. So yeah. let us work. Yeah. Do you know if they're doing that in other African countries? No, no. We, when we did this and we demonstrated it, we posted it on you know, our uh, internet. And there were some people who were much interested in it. Uh, we had some call from people from Botswana who were much interested mm -hmm. to understand why uh, how we are doing that. So uh, I think if we keep on like really doing it and we get like a few more, um, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, maybe I can get, you know, we can get a, a bunch of other people 
from different African countries and you can show them and other people can share their ideas. We yeah. have different places that have, you know, banana trees or whatever. I think that's one of the good things of having this kind of exchange programs. Right. You know, where we can learn from them, they also learn from us. Exactly. And also coming up with all these creative uh, initiatives that we are also coming up with. I love, yeah, I love it. Yeah. Um, all right, let's see. I Good. <laughs> Anything? Uh, you have any questions? Just feel free to ask us. Right now, I can't think of any. I know I will later. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you get any question, you can still email us, you can still text us, and then we will be able to answer all your questions. Right. No, this is this is really I'm glad we did this. I I I love your your setup. I did, you know, did you move that garden to that place? Or we just brought it, yeah, we did it. It took uh, it took him like two and a half hours to make it. Wow. So but it's yeah. It's a natural, I mean, it's it's still work, um, growing and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. We still grow them behind at the back, but this was just a demonstration because we couldn't get the internet or the camera straight in our farm. I so see. We wanted, just, yeah, we wanted just to make sure that we do it from here. That's awesome. You did an amazing job. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of what else. Think of any question and ask us. All right. <laughs> yeah, no, we have to. I know we'll probably have to do it again once we. I, you know, I'll kind of rework the script a little, and we'll figure out, um, you know, what we're going to get. But I, um, you know, I don't know how. Just out of curiosity, when you're making banana beer, how long does it take? What kind of process is it? Yeah, most of the banana beer, I should just hand it very quickly to Kamana, but it doesn't really take that much time. It takes like an hour, an hour, an hour and a half in the whole process of doing the whole demonstration. Really? Yeah. It could just take an hour, an hour and a half, just to show you the whole demonstration of everything. So is there a way, I mean, what do you use if people wanted, I mean, I don't know what we could get here, to to try and do it with you, what would you need? All what you need is the bananas. After the bananas, then you need the sorghum, and just the container where you could put the juice plus the sorghum in, and then you can keep it for um, in a safe place for the next two to three days. So until it it becomes a real banana beer, it moves it from the juice to a banana beer. So it's, um, it's bananas and sorghum? Yes, bananas and sorghum. That's it? Then the, that's it. That's it. You need to get the sorghum, and then you need to fry the sorghum before you do that. Then after that, you smash it. You, you smash it on, on a stone, like on a grinding stone like this. Can you see that? <laughs> I don't know if we have one of those in my in your kitchen, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know we want to get that. But maybe we could substitute, uh, you could get sorghum syrup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, no, I was just, I was Can just going to change because you didn't leave it. Yeah. There. There's not a place well, for it. So can you see that? Yeah. I do. That's a grinding stone. That they, it's a grinding stone they use to grind the sorghum. <laughs> so that's how they are doing it. When it gets strong, you get fine uh, flour. Yeah. So you get a fine flour, and that's the fine flour. You mix it with the juice, and then you keep it for the next two to three days until it becomes a really strong beer. Can you not use yeast? For mm. fermentation? Yes. Fermentation, we use banana, uh, no, sorghum or flour. Oh. Yeah. Sorghum and flour is kind of taking the place of yeast? Well, probably the nat. 
Do you have natural yeah, yeast on the banana? Yeah, or? he said, yeah, we have the natural one. But most of the, but most of the people, yeah, they just like using really like organic, everything has to really to be like organic. The bananas are organic, the sorghum is organic. So they don't really like mixing other chemicals in. They still, uh, the other people who think that once you mix like yeast and everything, it's gonna keep it maybe for a long time. Uh, you know, but we do the banana to, or banana beer doesn't, it's there to keep it for a few days and then we keep on doing another one. So we don't like keeping it for a month. Right. But it's still, but it's still there are some companies that are putting in like chemicals um, but uh, most of the local communities, they still prefer uh, the old generation way of... That's all they do. Yeah. Is there, is there any other type of a, a spice or it just banana? Just banana. Okay. Just banana. Yeah. Well, maybe we could do that. Maybe Anthony yeah. will try to make some at home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Send me, uh, I will. I totally will. <laughs> Send a little recipe. Yeah, do you have like, is there a recipe or not really? Yeah, there are some. We could just send them to you. You can just do like a demo and then we send you all the details. Okay. You can try it. Yeah. I'll, try to, I'll try to make it. That's right. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you have enough bananas next to you. That's, uh, no problem. <laughs> right. are, are, they, are they newer bananas or very ripe bananas? Which is better? The right one. The, the ripe? Very ripe? The, the right one, yeah. Not okay. the green one. Okay. The yellow one. Yeah. Too starchy. Okay. All right, awesome. Yeah. And especially those ones that you guys think they are just getting old. They are really the best to make the banana beer. The one normally you find in a supermarket in the US and they think they are just like, they are soon going to throw them away. Those would be the best to make it. Instead of throwing it away. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yes. All right. All right. Yeah. Sometimes okay. he's good. <laughs> so now, he's, now he's, he wants to nibble on you. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> and what is that? It's, a local, it's one of the local instruments. <laughs> that, it's, a, it's from the bamboo they use. There are different local instruments they use here. So. And what is it made out of? Bamboo? Yeah, we call it, 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 we call it. Yeah, yeah, it's made from the bamboo. Nice. Very nice. What is, uh, what's the string? So there's a... Very good. What is he using for the string? The string, uh, I get this... Uh, it's a hey. Yeah, this is more modern, but normally they use like a siso. You know the siso? No. Uh, it's a it's a plant that we we even grow it here. Sisal, yeah, it's a, it's a fiber, Robin. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you just it, it plant grown for fiber. Yeah, yeah, you smash it. That's right. You smash it very little, then you dry it outside until something like this comes out, and then you make it. And the rest is just like a bamboo and a small tree. Yeah. Skin. Yeah. 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 So I have another question. Yeah. Is, there, is there an instrument that you can think of that we could actually, you could teach us how to make, that we would have some of the things to us, you know, available to us? Yeah, we can even teach you how to make this instrument. There are different ones. 
There are different instruments that they can teach you how to make them. Yeah. I just don't know where we get the bamboo. Well, it's a good yeah. one. There's also this one. Even though I'm not good in making it, but I know they are good. This is another instrument. It's in a format of a guitar. But he knows how to play it. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, is the uh, made the Nipolisia Sifediva, Umungo. Yes, and, is, and this one as well. Kembe, is the Kembe. There are different instruments for the music. There are different instruments that we use here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I, yeah. I'm, I'm having an idea going through my head. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> No, I'm no, thinking. No, no, no. I'm thinking. Have people go into groups and each one make a you know, a few make some type of instrument and then a band. These are also made from the bamboo. Yeah. Yeah. So they are all different types. <laughs> There are different types of uh, instruments that we use here in our uh, mm -hmm. well, barren bomb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So wait, what is that? It's another instrument that yeah, for the music. What is it made of? It's made of the calabash and just a string and just a tree. Really? Yeah. A, this is just a calabash. The one we use to put the beer in, the one right. I was showing you. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and this is just a tree, and then you get the string, and then you put it up. Then we play it. So what does the cure bash do to make this? Does it help with the sound? Oh, it has different sounds. Yeah. Huh. Uh, for yeah. playing that one for children? Yes. This one, yes. This one is from Obana now. <laughs> this is our football. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. yeah. It's for games and for everything. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, well, this was, I'm so glad we did this. Thank you. This was so wonderful. And I love that everyone's, you know, very involved and into it. And I mean, that's, you know, to me, that's like the most important part is that people see, yeah. you know, and hopefully after a few, you know, after a little bit of time, actually, you know, make friends. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So you're gonna have the whole team here next month as we go into the real action. Okay. Great. Okay. So we'll, right. we'll be that in touch. That was wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much. That was Thank you. Welcome. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. Yeah, that was that was wonderful. And yes. I appreciate your time and I very will, interesting. We'll talk about, you know, like kind of next steps and where we need to go. But this looks good. You did a wonderful job. Thank you. We really appreciate yes. that. Yeah. All right. So next time you come, we play football. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, nice. And we, yeah. and we drink. We drink banana beer. There, there you go. And after that, we shake our booties. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Send me the recipe. Send Robin the I recipe will, for I banana will, beer. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. Have a wonderful night. Yeah. You too. Bye. Yes, yeah, so have a good weekend. Enjoy the wedding. <laughs> yes. Enjoy the wedding. <laughs> that, there I go. <laughs> yeah. All, right. All right. Have a good weekend. All right. You Thank too. you. I'll, I'll talk out. to you soon. All right. You too. Bye. 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 That's my movie this year. I didn't move the fifth time in a feminine on the tattoo. That's good. Good. Oh, there's the gorillas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Hey, hey. Well, uh, ah, the pants of Jarrah. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Uh, yeah, uh, we haven't. Sh uh, I, I just wanted to do a quick demo, demo with oh. the Zuru who is doing the artwork. Art. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, do the that's art. right. Yes. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm so. <laughs> so, <Yeah. I> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, he's one of our best artists. In fact, we are putting one of his artwork on 29th. He has an auction of one of his artwork. So we will have a workshop. Yeah, he will be having a workshop. And uh, yeah, there will be also some guy who is going to be playing the guitar behind him. But this is one of his artwork and this is what he does. So when you look down there, there are different uh, art pieces that he has done. And um, all the arts there, we are trying to do something with art of conservation. So most of the people come here, they come for Gorilla Tracking, but now, what else can they take home as a memory? So Zuru does this and very quickly and then he gets, uh, he earns his living from this. So he's going to go through this and tell you more. You know, if you have to ask him some few questions, I'll be translating. Um, when did he start painting? He started uh, doing this when he was 10 years old. Wow, did someone teach him or did he just know how to do it himself? He just slapped and did it. No, he is uh, self-taught. He's self-taught, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So he can do anything. He can just paint anything. Most really? Of the art, yeah. He's a self-taught, he just started it as a young kid when he was 10. And now he, you know, he does it. And as you can see from here, he has done a bunch of artwork and all about conservation, community and conservation. So this is what we are also trying like, to promote in terms of conserving the courage and, what, uh, and the conservation programs that we have. Great. Wow, those are all amazing. So when you said he's your artist there, so he's been, he stays at, what does that mean, the artist at Red Rock? Is he yeah. teaching it yeah. or is he just painting and selling there or? He does both. He does teaching, he teaches some younger generation and at the same time he does, uh, uh, he does these paintings and he sells them. And what got him interested in doing conservation type work? I mean, art. Yeah, uh, he, uh, the last couple of days, uh, the, uh, many people were like asking themselves, they were like, how can we sustain our culture? It's, it's like people go to different countries, they adapt their culture, they bring it back. But he just thought, how can we sustain our culture? How can we keep on demonstrating what we have in Rwanda? You know, through art, uh, through music, through different way of living. So that's how he started this. And he feels that it's always good to show, some, to show something um, that people are trying to forget. Right. Yeah. So he comes up with all these ideas of showing something that people like. And even if they buy an art piece like this, when you are visiting Rwanda, then they know that it's going to be like kept in Chicago maybe for by lobbying for some time and everybody will be remembering Rwanda. So it's mm -hmm. a kind of a sovereignty, yeah. Oh, that's beautiful, to share the culture with the rest of the world. Yeah. That's right, totally, yeah. I mean, and that's yeah. part of the goal of what I'm trying to do, since we can't travel there. I mean, I would like these, you know, these little events, I'm gonna call them, to be, you know, still have the opportunity to share, you know, throughout, you know, to share and learn about your culture and even share ours throughout the world. And I, yeah. um, really, you know, I'm still thinking in my head about doing something with kids and really getting kids to share, you know, ideas and get to know each other and all from all over the world. Yeah, we could do a workshop. Once you come up with your group here, we can just make sure that we organize it a workshop and then have yeah. all the kids do something.
That'll be fun. We can get them dancing too. <laughs> Robin, maybe yeah. you can uh, have either a link or uh, to show all of his artwork and right. people who participate might order a piece and have it shipped over. Right. Yeah, that's right. Maria is going, in fact, Maria came up with uh, an idea of a certain platform. She's, go she's going to set it up and uh, soon she's going to be having all her his artwork on it and uh, we will be able to share the link with uh, other people and then they can be buying it. Yeah. Sorry? You just come here. Yeah. <laughs> you probably know the platform. It's Etsy. Uh, Etsy. You know, uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think there would be a good place for them to have their. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really good yeah, so, idea. Yeah. So she's going to work on that as soon as she gets back home mid uh, September, and then, uh, you know, we expect maybe to get it end of September, so we can be able to share the link with other people around. Uh, who are following us. Yeah. Good. Any more questions for Zuru? No, but he's doing a fantastic job. Does he does he get Is to he? see gorillas in person? Sorry? Has, has he seen the gorillas himself? Uh he has really not done much, you know. So, uh, so does he paint only like the images in his head? Yes, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. He, anything that comes in his head, he just puts it up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had that talent. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's a nice it's talent amazing. to have. Yeah. Maybe when you get to this again, he's going to tell you the secret. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or drink more banana beer. I'll get the yeah. secret. <laughs> <laughs> No, I have everyone else drink banana beer and they'll all think it looks good. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> well, I have the secret. That's right. Um, <laughs> good. Good, oh, good, good. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Really great. Yeah. Okay. All right. That was I'll great. That was good. beautiful. All right. Okay. Talk to you soon. And, Thank you uh, very yeah, much. If you have any question, then let's just throw it to us and we'll be able to answer it. Okay. Okay. All Sounds right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Bye bye. Oh, that's bye. beautiful. Bye. That is beautiful. Bye. 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 Ciao. Ciao. Bye. Bye. I'll call you, Anthony. Sir. All right.